Okay, this is a diagram of the structure for the pinwheel tree. This is the center post and these pieces are the four supports. The structure is made out of two by two pressure treated lumber which actually measures one and a quarter by one and a quarter. The four supports are four and a half inches in length. They are held to the center posts with one and three fourths inch screws, which as you can see go in but not all the way to the center so they won't be bumping into each other. There's a little leeway left, but the combination of the screw and the glue should hold the supports in place securely. These dots represent the post of each pinwheel. These lines here are the blades of the pinwheel and the pinwheel is facing out away from the structure. This is a pinwheel facing this way, this is another pinwheel facing this way, and this is a fourth pinwheel facing out this way. Now let's cut some support sections. Looks good. Mark and drill holes for pinwheel shafts on each support piece. Mark and drill holes for screws to go into the center post. Number each support piece to a corresponding number on the center shaft so the holes that you drill for the screws to go in here will line up with the post. Apply glue and clamp together. The first tier is now completed. These Bloomers pinwheels come with very long shafts, so you're going to have to take a hacksaw and cut something off of the bottom of this shaft. You want enough clearance at the bottom so none of the blades will hit the wood support.
Now we're going to drill the holes in the support sections to support the metal shaft of the pinwheel. You don't want to go all the way through, you only want to go, go down about an inch, so you're going to have to put a stop on your drill bit so you won't go any further in to the wood than an inch. The first tier is now complete along with the pinwheels all in place. You are now ready to start the second tier. And when you start the second tier, remember to start it at a point where the wood support, the next level wood supports, will clear the blades of the pinwheels below. Since this support is going in this direction, on the second tier, you want the, four, the first support to go in the opposite direction and to head on around this way. Remove all pinwheels prior to working on the second level so they will not be damaged while you're doing the work on the second level. Using some 1x3's or 1x4's, build a table with a clamp to support the wood for the second level. This will assist you in lining up the supports and gluing them in place on the second level. The four tiers are now complete. All that remains is to install and anchor the pinwheels and a swivel hook at the top.
two more boxes of pinwheels have arrived. For this project, you will need 16 pinwheels. This is the final project with all pinwheels in place and securely anchored. This is how it all comes together, part storeboard and part man-made. Sixteen pinwheels in total. Now the measurements that were given at the beginning of this video are for Bloomis pinwheels that measure seven and a half inches in diameter. If a larger pinwheel is used, that means these support staff shafts will have to be longer so that adjacent pinwheels will not bump in to each other. They will have to have enough space between them. If a smaller pinwheel is used, then this shaft, this support can be shorter. Also, all pinwheels must be anchored securely into the support section with super with contact cement. If they are not securely anchored, then vibration could work them loose and they will start moving and changing orientation and moving into a space near the other wind pinwheel. Also the lug nuts that hold the pinwheel onto its axis onto its axle has to be glued down with super glue otherwise when the wind causes these things to turn and they start vibrating these lug nuts can work themselves loose they will come off and fall in the grass and never be found again Finally, at the top of the structure is a swivel hook that will allow the structure to swing freely and rotate 360 degrees. Now let's take this project outside, find some wind, and see how it works.